Hello everybody, I think Dr. Pie's finally lost it, so uh, yeah, let's watch and see what he's up to, shall we?
So, Dr. Pi, if you've um, sobered up yet from your successful code writing exploits, would you be able to elaborate on some of the issues you found writing the code and how you went about it? Thank you. Oh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, everyone, or we're going to get you. Who are you? Where'd you come from? I live inside your computer. I'm your, um, alter ego, I think, or something. I don't know. Who am I? You tell me. What's this all about? What's anything about? It's all pointless. Well, yeah, I'm sorry about him. He seems to uh, be a bit of a strange person. Anyway, as you can see, I've written the code using Python, which was just really for my own amusement. I've, I've got the, uh, the gearball controller. So to write the code in Python, I first thought, well, why not do it? Because there may be a time when I just want to control something very simply without having to use a gearball board or anything. Um, yeah, that was my main reason. I just wanted to try and work it out myself, what's going down. So you can see I had the, um, the functions, which were um, X and Y, which were basically uh, talking to the hat. Um, the jog function, which takes uh, two parameters, which were um, the distance and the direction. And then the LIFR function, which is the main function which does all the work. Um, LIFR, load input file run, which uh, you may have seen that in a previous video. But what I've done here is add loads and loads of code to, well, I think it's loads of code, to change the G code file from its um, format, which uses absolute values. And I've had to load. Um, I have to iterate through the file and subtract the previous X and Y values from the current ones and then that gives me the difference and then obviously it's the difference that I need to pass to the motors. I need to pass the difference between the previous coordinate and the current one and also I need to tell it the direction whether it's positive or negative. So yeah, I hope you've uh, enjoyed that. I've not shown it working because, to be brutally honest, I've tested it with a marker pen and it kind of works, but I was having to use um, sellotape and it's raining and I can't be bothered to go and get wet and go in my garage and hunt for some cable ties because my friend's storing smoke furniture in the garage and the cable ties are hidden behind some of the furniture and also I can't be bothered to drive to Screwfix and buy some cable ties because I'm not in that sort of frame of mind to be dealing with uh yeah anyway i could go to tool station i suppose and get some free soup um i've got i've got a, uh, an acquaintance in um, dorset he likes to go to tool station and get free soup um but i think he's on holiday in india at the moment um sampling their soup to be honest, if he eats their soup, it might come out the other end. Is no, you don't even want to know that. Anyway, I digress. Next, I need to. I'm thinking about writing a um, subroutine to create a circle or circles or arcs. I may do that. Depends how bored I get during the uh, festive season. So um, I hope you like these videos. Please subscribe. Let me know if uh, you find them amusing, interesting, informative or anything else and um, yeah I might I might also talk about some other channels that I follow if that's of interest to you um, I follow um, A V E capital A lowercase v capital E um, he's very amusing and quite uh, he's very knowledgeable I also have uh, started watching um, bigclive.com um, Andrew Camerata, he's fantastic with his bulldozers and uh, Levi's dog and his um, yeah, welding and uh, metal work is fantastic and bonfires and burning things because uh, it's all very easy just to spend your life sat at a keyboard isn't it anyway I waffle on and I think I'm probably ready to go and make a cup of tea um, don't for one instant think I spend my life drinking beer and writing code because I don't. 
there's only so much you can do of either of those activities before they start to drive you slightly mad anyway um that's it for now hope you've enjoyed it and um i'll be back soon with possibly with the circle the code for the circles um i've also been watching some other videos um with people doing web scraping which is something i did a while ago and um yeah i quite enjoyed that i might do that again i watched one particular video by uh, Kelly holden he's a coder in the um He's basically scraped Amazon and found out all their best deals, which look quite amusing, quite fun, if you're into that sort of thing, which I am, because also I like a bargain. Thanks, Dr. Pie. On behalf of all of the viewers, I'd like to say thank you for making this video. It's been quite um, in in uh, da, 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 in interesting and entertaining. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe, everybody. Bye! <laughs>